the thing is sales engineering is very different and generally speaking someone coming in new to sales engineering would require some training right uh, of so course just, how would it how would it work like are they do they consider you like do they onboard you do they train you or you have to figure out everything because you're a freelance as no, a- no of course yeah they didn't board me because like because i m- started to work with with a different product okay. and with a big product uh, you need to understand the features the possibilities the scale of the product what it can do what it can't do uh like all the stuff and to sell something to architect something to propose something you you need to understand the possibilities and the ways it could be done okay what you can say you are not marketologist market man you are not just selling and saying yeah we can do the best the better things you can imagine you're saying you're not a salesperson okay (laughs) yeah yeah. Uh, so you're although you're kind of a freelance se you're working like you're being treated as a full-time SEO within that company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and how do you like sales engineering so far? I mean, you've been doing it for a few months. Uh, well, for a few months, it's officially my position, yeah. but I yeah. did it before, so yeah. Okay. Oh, well, you did it as like as a like when you worked at the startup in Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like different, so let's different let's talk about time. that because I complain a lot about uh, like companies who don't hire sales engineers and force okay. their engineers to come out of like what they're working on, which is building the product to uh-huh. go sell. What are your thoughts about like being an engineer mm. who has to go sell? I think this is interesting question because, uh, I can understand the companies that don't hire sales engineers separately because it's all about the budget and the sizes of company. And if it's not big company, like, I don't know, for 20, 40, even hundreds of people, they could probably don't have enough budget to mm, hire such narrow specific people. Uh, and they it would be better for them to train one, two or three persons inside the company who are working like architect as architects or just simple developers or something or DevOps, I don't know, or make a team who can mm, briefly create some kind of a, of a proposition for a client and try to sell this proposition to client using like sales and you see this is combination of roles yeah yeah and someone probably can manage this process so this is thing i think this is something about budget but yeah when company gets bigger and it looks for a new clients and it needs to make their sales uh, process smoother then yeah, of course they they need such kind of role. I I I would say in a big company you will see all the kind of roles. Yeah, I mean I do understand it. Like as a startup, everybody does everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. on the other hand, like nobody's gonna be good at everything, right? You might like you might have been excellent at coding. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe you were the exception to the rule and you were also great at selling. But generally speaking, it's not like the same. Because it's different skills, different practice. You're maybe, well, you tell me, how did you feel about the, I guess you loved it, you said, right? Mm-hmm. You enjoy the communication aspect of it. Did you find it as a struggle to do both at the same time? No, no, no. I, I would say this is a nice uh, switching because okay. you are not doing the one thing all the time. You you can do the technical stuff and then you can do communication stuff. This is completely like different fields of mind i would say even which one did you enjoy more though oh no i hate this question i just hate this question because <laughs> that's why i like to all ask the time, all the time people especially on um, interviews asking what do i like the more like i'm saying they're asking which which role you want i'm saying i like both i like management i like coding i like communication and they are asking what do you prefer and i don't know i prefer both i like both i want to be everything at a time yeah well so the way i think about it is like like i'm in networking right i i worked i worked as a network design engineer and i enjoyed it but i also enjoyed networking with a purpose right mm-hmm. working with the customers trying to understand their needs and and because yeah. you're still building a process and i would think it's the same for you right now like mm-hmm. you're still coding but with the purpose other than yeah. my boss told me 
right? This is the feature that product management came down and asked me. So if anyone's being asked that question in an interview, Mm -hmm. that's one way to look at it. It's like, you're doing this, like you still enjoy both, but now you enjoy doing it for a purpose that's beyond Mm -hmm. just a a new feature, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 that's true. It's not so, uh, mm, you need to think globally about it and uh, take in consideration why are you doing this feature not just do it as as you said because the boss said do you still hate that question or is it is it better uh no no i'm still happy still hate <laughs> what's the difference do you you can you take how did you answer reasons or not anyway it's it's like no it's it's the same state of mind right. i would say the, these two things it's a state of mind why one way when you communicate with people another another state when you code third state when you think about things how they should work when you design something so this is a different like yeah different ways of working brain working and i like the brain work in different ways all the time not in one focused way did you is that how you answered the question uh, yeah, I would let it be so. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Like, ah, uh, that's a good answer in my opinion. Uh, okay, thank you. What? What did the? Uh, obviously, you got the job, but like, uh, what feedback did you get from managers or from hiring managers? Yeah, well, good feedback because like a lot of experience, a uh, lot of knowledge, uh, doing things fast because like I get used to do things fast and uh, well well i just uh, like to dig into things you know to um, understand the core sense of things and be able to manage it even on in in, in intuitive level not like taking yeah on intuitive like level so it's it's something i'm i'm enjoying to understand the things deeply and yeah of course managers love it <laughs> when you just do your work and you do it good and yeah. in time oh uh, the, the the main point is that you're doing it in time right yeah like, yeah of course nobody wants to demo three weeks too late or a feature yeah, yeah sure 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 deadlines all the stuff yeah.